So I wanted to share with you the template that I'm using to plan my first three months of 2024. I've been using this for the past year or so now and it is the thing that has allowed me to finally hit consistent 10k months while actually working less than I ever have previously. I think the biggest mistake people make when setting goals is overcomplicating it and trying to do too much and this is when you just give up. And so this is a simple method but very effective. It has genuinely cured 95% of my procrastination and made me hugely more productive with my time. And I'm not talking about insane unhealthy productivity like how can we optimize every second of every day to work the most amount possible i'm talking about the most amount of progress possible in the least amount of time possible so you can actually see consistent growth without burning out and you know actually enjoy life <laughs> so this template is free you can grab it below and add it to your notion and then we'll get into it so we'll start with our bigger vision that we're working towards for the year these are your big ambitious goals they don't need to be so specific or even that realistic because we're going to break this down into smaller more realistic goals down here and if you're not so sure what these goals are right now that's okay there's some exercises here that's going to help you start thinking about this but honestly this can be as vague or specific as you like for me i'm putting here that i want to hit two hundred thousand dollars in digital product sales alongside my web design income and i want to hit ten thousand followers on on YouTube. Not completely out of reach but pretty ambitious considering I only have 400 right now. So if you want to help me out you know what to do. But to be honest I really don't even care if I hit these because these are outcomes that I really can't control and it's just good to have something to push yourself and aim towards. What we're mainly going to be focused on is planning the next three month sprint and I think this is the optimal time period to set goals and so when you're setting goals for these next three months it's very important that these are actions and not outcomes. We want to focus on things that we can control and we want these to be as realistic as possible and so there's two things you need to do to help you set these three month goals for yourself and the first is you want to do a time audit so I time block all my tasks every week anyway but if you don't then I would really recommend that you spend at least one week tracking everything you do and how long you spend on it I'm using Chrome for this but you can also use Google Calendar and this is just to help you create a more realistic view of your time and your energy and how much time you actually have how long things take and what your energy is like throughout the day. And the next thing I want you to do is use this to block out your time in focus work sessions. And this is the time that you have available to work on these goals each week. It's important that you're realistic with this because it's far better to do less and stay consistent with it than try to do too much and burn out because then you will give up. So for me, I know that I have about three hours of focus work in me every morning and then a second shorter burst in the afternoon. And it really took me a few months of time blocking to figure this out and of course this always changes from week to week but generally I know I can be fairly consistent with this but for you if you're working a nine to five you have kids you come home to and your goals here are related to building your side hustle then you might block out one hour in an evening three days a week and so what I want you to do as you're putting these non-negotiable tasks into here is think about how long this is going to take you each week and put them into your time blocks and this is so important because if it's not physically in your calendar you're really not doing it. For example, my actions over these next three months are five TikToks per week, one newsletter per week, one YouTube video per week, and launch two more products. So I know how long these things take me because I've been tracking my time for months now and adjusting my time blocking to be as realistic as possible. But for you, it might take you some time to figure out what works and what you can do consistently each week. And you want to be disciplined with yourself over these next three months to commit to these goals, but also be patient and generous with yourself. The whole point of doing it in your calendar like this is that you can move blocks around and be flexible so if something comes up you can make an informed decision about what your priority is that week and so the other thing that you want to do is order these by priority if it's a bad week and something comes up and I have to let one of these things go I know that at a minimum I have to post these TikToks because this is the biggest thing growing my business right now and it's really important that you don't try to overcompensate the next week if you miss this one week just let it go and keep going and so when you have these laid out in your calendar I want you to commit to doing these consistently for the next three months don't get distracted by shiny object syndrome and start adding more things to your plate just stick to doing these things and at the end of these three months then you can look back at what worked and what didn't and adjust your actions for the next three month sprint but huge results don't come from big ideas and drastic actions they come from these small compounding actions over time so stick with it and in three months time come back comment on this video and let me know how it goes